What's up, G-Fusion fans? This is Philip once again with another video. So, as of this recording, I just got back from Nagoya, and uh, if you haven't seen my other video yet, uh, link is going to be down in the description below. So, that is the video where we went to the Kamen Rider pop-up store in Parko, Nagoya. So, this is actually a flyer for the uh, event. So, yeah, Kamen Rider store in Nagoya, Parko. So the like I said in the previous video, it's going it's gonna last only for a month. So September twenty five to October twenty four, and today as of this recording is actually September twenty six. So it's actually just been a day since the Kamen Rider pop up store opened. So let's take a look at what we got or what they have in the store. Now this is just. Some of the items that I uh, that you can see. So we have a couple of shirts here. So one is uh, a common writer shirt with the numbers. Uh, uh, so this one is like a legend writer uh, text. So each letter is a common writer. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, the prices are different. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure why they. Uh, did that, but okay. So here, this is actually some sort of a snack, uh, like some fried uh, chips or something. Uh, not not potato chips, but some like rice krispies, like fried rice krispies. Uh, it's kind of savory, but uh, I didn't get this one. But I I know what kind of snack it is. So here. Uh, we have other stuff. So this is a mini towel. So this is a scarf towel. And these are gold frame magnets. So you can put them in a gold frame. And uh, it, it features common writers with gold uh, forms. Most likely the, the final form. So that's why you have here uh, Muteki Exe, the Grand Geo, Rising Ultimate Kuga. Uh, Kiva Emperor and Blade King form. So those are in gold. So we do have here a set of uh, notebooks in different designs. So this is actually a metallic clear file. So here we have a big tapestry. Uh, so you can hang it on your wall. We have an iPhone case. Uh, this is kind of a, like a wooden box, so you can put stuff in there. This is a common writer clock, so it's a stand clock, not a wall clock. Uh, a set of stickers. Uh, you you can actually get like necklaces here. So there are two designs. So one is a like a pendant style. One is tied to both ends, and you also get like Henshin sound cards. So the special card for this event is uh, Omagio. So yeah, those are just some uh, you know, things that you can find in the pop-up store, but that's not everything. So you can also find, well, there are other snack type items. You can also find their acrylic stands of common Riders. However, the stand that I wanted the most like, if I were to buy a stand, I would have gotten that immediately. That would have been Kamen Rider Sabela for... for uh, I do not have her! Ah! So, yeah, uh, they don't have her. But uh, they do have, like, all Kamen Riders, at least the main characters. Uh, so the Kamen Rider Sabela... Uh, Sabala, <laughs> the Kamen Rider Sabala uh, acrylic stand, uh, they're around this big, okay, but uh, Sabala has both the uh, Reika Shindai and the Sabala in one uh, set, so, why? <laughs> but anyway, so moving on from that. Now, let's actually take a look at what we have here. So, first off, Uh, we could probably use a drum roll, but you know, I can do it myself. 
I got a Kamen Rider t-shirt. Okay, so uh, let's open the bag, shall we? Right. Okay, so there we go. So this, I, I think I got myself a medium just to be safe. Mm -hmm. So that's what it looks like. So you can see here, if you look closely at the numbers, so uh, so the numbers are 7, 5, and 8. Now, this uh, these numbers are actually a shorthand for uh, Nagoya. Now, uh, to those who have seen Kamen Rider uh, Kiva, so the secondary writer, uh, Keisuke Nago, has his own personal t-shirt, and it was actually sold. So the 7, 5, Three. So the only number difference is uh, three. So uh, so so seven represents the sound na because na na. Uh, five is go, and now uh, eight is actually traditionally or normally pronounced as hachi, but in some cases, especially with kanji combinations, so they use the sound ya. For example, uh, counting like yatsu. So. Uh, when you get to number 8, so the ya in yatsu stands for number 8. So there we go. So there's only print at the front, so there's nothing at the back, by the way. So here, uh huh. So there are, com so you can see the common writers in the photo or in the print. So we have common writers uh, Stronger and Kabuto, so both the uh, Beetle types, right? And uh, we have Common Rider X and Common Rider Blade. We have Common Rider Super One and then O oh, for this design. And of course, uh, so show. Uh, so actually, so there's something written here. So you you probably see that in the red text or in the red box. So Showa and Heisei uh, number Common Riders. I think uh, I think they're representative of the numbers. Probably, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, so. Stronger and Kabuto are the seventh writers from you know uh, the respective eras. So again, uh, so seventh uh, Showa, seventh Heisei writer. So fifth Showa, fifth Heisei writer, and eighth Showa and eighth Heisei writer. So that makes sense. So what? So that's why they are put there together. Okay. So that's. Uh, you know what, let's wear this t-shirt. I know I'm wearing a shirt already, but uh, I'm gonna wear a shirt over a shirt. Mm. There we go. So, let's see how that fits. I mean, it's a medium, so it should fit me fine. There we go. There we go. <laughs> look at that, look at that, look at that. Look. Can you see that? Can you see it, guys? Look at that. So that's my Common Rider t-shirt. Nice. Nice. But uh, actually, ins what's interesting here is they use the words Masked Rider instead of Common Rider because I do believe uh, they did uh, use the Masked Rider brand, uh, at least uh, in some subtitles. Although, uh, when you look at the Japanese titles, especially, you know, when they're written in katakana and kanji, they do use Kamen Raida. So, the only time they started using uh, Kamen Rider instead was, I think, starting with Kamen Rider Double. So, anyways, uh, you know what, I'm gonna wear this shirt for the rest of the video. So, the other... Thing that we got so when I said I bought a couple of things at the pop-up store I literally meant a couple of things so the other thing that we bought is an SHF Kamen Rider Saber Brave Dragon so uh, they do sell SHFs there however they only sell Saber and Blades. Toma and Rintaro. <laughs> they also sell 
now, of course, uh, being a common Rider pop-up store, uh, they do sell toys. However, their toys are very limited. So, uh, what they had there, so they actually were selling uh, the 50th anniversary version of the common Rider Revice, uh, Revice driver. So, it looks something like this. I'm getting something here. So they were selling this at the Kamen Rider store. So uh, before, uh, just to clarify, uh, I bought this at a at the local uh, shopping mall, which is just close to my house. And by the way, this isn't mine. Uh, this is actually ordered by uh, our good friend Haram Burl PH. So uh, shout out to you, man. So this is his. Uh, Common Rider uh, Revised Driver. Now, uh, so the difference between the typical or the normal Revised Driver is so you have this uh, special booklet inside and you do have the Grasshopper or Bata by Stamp which uh, has the design of Common Rider Ichigo at the back. So, yeah. So that's the main difference. But again, we're not going to review this. Uh, we don't have the permission, okay? But this is his. And it just so happens that they were also selling this at the Kamen Rider pop-up store. So as for the other toys, they were selling the Revice Remix figure, which is a set, which is, it's always a set. You don't get uh, Kamen Rider Revi or Vice just by themselves. When you buy that, they're always together in that box, okay? And looking at them, it's actually cheaper to just buy this instead. No joke, this is much cheaper than the Revice Remix figure. I mean, considering that, yeah, you do get two figures in one, but, uh, no, uh, we rarely get SHFs in this channel, so uh, I guess it's a rare chance for us to get one of these. So yeah, Kamen Rider Saber Brave Dragon. I mean, I do have, you know, my trusty Sodo already, but, you know, uh, so we rarely get high-end items like these. And I will review this in the next video, so stay tuned for that. If you want to see more, subscribe, by the way. So, yeah. But that's not all. Okay, so it's not all that we got. So, what we have here are a couple of badges that you get. Now, uh, you, they actually have it in the flyer here. So, I forgot to show you guys uh, earlier. So, for every 3,000 yen purchase, okay you get a randomized badge, a pin badge, uh, you can see here, so from these designs, okay? So, from, from this uh, designs, we got these. So, one only has Kamen Rider Store, and one, the other one has com, is Kamen Rider Store Nagoya, to be specific. I do like this one. It, it's gold, it's shiny, and it has Nagoya in it. No, to stress the fact that it's a Nagoya exclusive item. So, yeah, very much uh, appreciated. So, there you have it. So, that's all that we have uh, bought in, you know, at the Kamen Rider store. Now, I was kind of disappointed, actually, because, uh, well, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, this shirt... Uh, the SHF, they're very good items, okay? Uh, don't get me wrong. But there were some uh, toys that I I was kind of hoping they would have. So, what I was looking forward to the most is that they would have, well, at least a wider variety of RKF figures. Okay, so that's one thing. Uh, I know, you know, like, uh, the... RKF is an old uh, uh, toy line already, but if you look at the Legend Riders specifically, they are so amazing. And honestly, uh, I 
do regret not buying some of those figures because uh, I really saw how good they were. You know, they were good uh, action figures. No gimmicks except for some actual figures that have gimmicks, but those were the main protagonists, such as Kamen Rider Zero One with some armor, you know, changes and. There's this Kamen Rider Saber that I actually uh, wanted to have because you can change from Brave Dragon to Crimson Dragon and uh, Dragonic Knight. Although the main figure is actually Dragonic Knight, and you actually get the Brave, you get you actually get the Dragon in that set as well. So uh, that one I really wanted, but they didn't have it there. And I was also hoping they would sell the Sodo action figures, like either Sodo or Shodo, or preferably both, because uh, just like some of the RKFs, uh, I missed the chance to get like a couple of uh, models or a couple of uh, figures that I really wanted to get from the Sodo line recently were. Kamen Rider Saber Dragonic Knight. I really regretted not buying that one. Seriously. Although, uh, the Elemental Dragon was starting to grow on me. Uh, I mean, uh, Cross Saber Crimson uh, uh, was okay at least. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I really wanted that uh, Dragonic Knight. And uh, Hell Rising Hopper, God. Uh, that's one regret I really, you know, th- it really pisses me off. Uh, but what can you do? That's what happens. So, yeah. Uh, but well, but still, overall, again, uh, these purchases... Oh, I dropped a pin. These purchases and the fact that you also get these uh, badges, they're really cool. Uh, so, you know, it's still worth it. So, yeah. Anyways, again, uh, I will review this uh, figure in a, a future video. Probably, uh, you know, the next one. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want to see, uh, especially the review of this one, uh, please do subscribe to JE Fusion. And as always, thank you for watching. So, uh, like I usually say, uh, please uh, leave a like, comment, share this video. Again, subscribe. And don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from JE Fusion. So this has been Philip, and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it's going to be this one. I probably should, but uh, I have a couple of things to do first. So anyways, I'll go ahead and do them so I can get to this one, probably. So again, subscribe, and uh, yeah, if you want more uh, content like this, uh, please do let us know, you know, down in the comments. So also, uh, the link to the previous video in the description. Okay, so check them out. Again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.